16 again. Um, from now on, we start the new um, expect from the um, MVC Music Store. Um, we, as I say, we go to uh, the new one. It doesn't mean the new technology because um, we still use the new, uh, the, the old technology, but we solve them um, different problem. Uh, according to the uh, tutorial outline, we just finished the uh, data access. And I believe um, I show you what would uh, with the curt thing, um, curt uh, C R U D. Let's see, curt. Okay. Uh, inside the this series, we um we touch um the form using uh the edit form already, right? Using um, data annotation for a model val validation. In Java, we still have some technology to um, validate uh, the uh, information that the user uh, put it in. Is from two sides. One is from the client side. Is mean from the browser. We can use. Um, like um, jQuery or JavaScript to uh, validate the uh, information that um, user put it in. The other thing is from the server side, we have to um, validate the information that we get from the view and those validation we have to put inside the uh, the controller. I just take up. Uh, I I just talk about that one, but I, I hopefully I have time to uh, show you guys um, later. But uh, in this tutorial, I don't um, I don't show you. Or in the next uh, thing inside um, membership and authorized variations. I will show you how to validate the, um, the username and we, we can use that tech uh, that technique to validate information that uh, the user put it in. Where, where the user put it in? Like, um, let me see, from here inside a um, data sets for example when we create uh, store manager when we create um, the album here right January and artist is okay because we uh, generate from the user uh, from the uh, the database however for the title is a string, but how about the price? The price is over here when we put information in um, from previous tu tutorial. We always put in the int, the integers, or the double value, but we never put the uh, strings over here. What happened if the user put a string is over here? Our system we will crash. All right, so we have to make sure the of the information um, the user put in is correct information that we want. For example, uh, same is with the edit. If we put the price over here, instead of we put a point nine nine, what happened if we say uh, we put the string that price? Uh, album price or something, it will crash. So we have to make sure 
in uh, everything information that uh, the user put it in is correct. All right. So um, and where we where we do it again from the client side, we have to write um, JavaScript or jQuery to to take care of this. Um, on the server side, we have to validate that one inside the um, controller, especially in the post um, method. I say that and thing, and you can learn it by yourself. Well, and yeah, I promise I will show you later, but not right now. Um, see, get back here and search me in validation. I will put push it back later. And again, for the membership and author authorization, is mean we have to take out two sides. One is for the customer side. One is for the manager side. Customer side just see uh, whatever whatever we show in the store. And managers admin here. Admin. Um, so it mean we can when the when the user want to do anything with our system, we have to take care of that and uh, see what role you are, what role the user is. If the user is normal customer, we can uh, they can just can see w information in the store. If the user is a manager or the admin, they can see both from the uh, the store and from the um, manager page. Do you still remember the um, manager manager page? Uh, okay, store manager. See. We create create album, delete album, um, edit an album. They all belong to manager. And because we, um, if we do by ourselves, is is not really hard. But I recommend we have to use this on Spring Security, and Spring Security. This belong to a uh, different tutorial and I want to do it uh, for you guys later um, so don't I uh, I don't put this one inside this series of tutorial um, so you you guys will see it later but uh, I will show you how to create an locking page. All right, don't worry. We still touch it, but not uh, not really strictly like we use um, Spring Security. All right. So in this tutorial, I will show you guys um, work with shopping cart with Ajax update. Um, because I right now I don't have any experience about Ajax, but I can show you guys how to deal with the um, shopping cart. Okay, um, start for inside this tutorial. I will show you guys um, when you go when the customer go to the the, um, the store page. They can see um, the January after they choose one, what January they want. For example, over here they click on the disco. Inside the disco January, they have three uh, album, and user click one album, they uh, take the user to different pages. That is the um, detail page. That detail page it is the uh, detail the album. Um, ring my bell on boom. So over here and show here and 
uh, hopefully you guys still remember that I say add to cart button over here for uh, the different tutorial and that diff definitely in this tutorial when the user click on uh, add to cart um, the user will see the shopping cart page and will and show every information of the album the user want to buy like okay um, that album is ring my bell uh, the price of that album is a99 uh, quality is one um, this link is one to use to remove um, the album from the card alright and total total price of uh, the use of uh, the uh, the customer card is a99 uh, okay and if the customer choose M multiple album they have for example they have three um, album inside their cart but they remove one the uh, the remove the, the remove album is the worst of men at work right so it is what took out from the uh, the, uh, the list so the user just have one and two album and price of each one total and we have total price over here uh, let me show you that alright uh, we have the uh, store the store page I refresh and see still working okay I click on disco check this one see and add to cart we have this cart and go to the store again Rage. click on the, the album add to the cart see right now we have two album inside my cart say my cart Let's go to the store and latin check this one add to the cart okay I don't want this alright I don't want this remove it remove and you see remove that from the list and show here California um, California vacation album just um, remove from the card store add more pop add to the card okay so right now we have three cards um, remove. So it's remove that um, new ventures in Hi-Fi. So it's remove from the card and see the price over here. All right, that's the idea. Hmm. 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 Okay. So let's start. Um, as usual, we still have three components: controllers, shopping cart uh, controllers, shopping cart um, models, and the view shopping cart view, JSB. I start with JSB first. Um, three here, uh, you guys know already. They just uh, had the four uh, JSB. The head of the JSB. Um, okay, title CSS uh, had the body. Mm, this is the header, the head, the header part of the JSB, the header part of the page, building page. And the next one is the form. Um, bigger form. start and close the form over here, over here. okay um, 
again, the motor actuator is my card. My card. Uh, okay. And I, I just want to remind you guys uh, my cards here. The name of the um, motor actuator should match with. Motor attribute, my card in um, the get and motor attribute for the post. All right, and yes, comment and should match with um, the motor attribute and actions. Action, uh, of course, go to uh, shopping cart page. Heather. Um, the checkout button. We take up. Um, we will uh, talk about this later because uh, in this tutorial we don't touch this button, but we have we, we should put it here. Is that uh, that button will submit everything? Submit. Uh, the contain of uh, information over here to the controller. Um, uh, table head. It's been our uh, table head here. Album name, price, quantity, and uh, one column for remove card. Let's see. Album name, price for each quantity, table head. All right. Now this one is empty because um, we reserve this uh, column for remove from card length and total price of the card. Um, table body. In a table body, we uh, we need. A list of the album, right? List of album. In the list, or for example, in this situation, we have two album in the list. The first one is Best of uh, Van Allen Volume One and uh, Retrospective. Okay, so we have. We uh, we need the album list, of course, because the um we want a list and we want the list inside the table. Is mean we should work with for each for each loop, and again the variable for each album is my album. Not confused. Not confused from my my. Oh, okay, it's my card. It's okay. Uh, my album. The first one is the title, right? Title. PD is table data. I want to show the my album title. Okay? And because I want it, they all become links. So I use the uh, the a the anchor tag, and where is where to go when um, the user click on the link? Okay, it, sh it should go to uh, the details of that album. So go to spring store details album and album id is that album id straightforward second we need the price of that album my album right we work in with the my album and show the my album dot price the th third one is quantity because the quantity over here um, later if we uh, we want when the, um, the user check how many album they want 
but right now they are each of one. I just allow them you know, when I click and add to the cart just have one album okay this means they just uh, each album they will just uh, to one if they want more they go to uh, the um, store and click one more okay the last one is to remove from cart it just um, a text but is uh, the text I created a link okay the text is removed from cart and I turn it to a link I use the anchor um, uh, tap tap and is the link we go to shopping cart x.html and I put delete album ID in because I want to get the ID of this album right why because I, if I know that album I can go to uh, I I can use the controllers remove from the uh, the album list so I need the uh, the ID of that album and I put it here that's it okay for the next um it's mean for each over here it's just um generate the whole table up here if we add more this store um let's go back latin roll one add to a card on oh, no. store middle pen add a card see it's just generate the whole up here from total up here how about the last one here the last the last one over here is not related to the 4 each it's separate and TR is mean table round TD total total okay and the next two columns next two column one two is empty the third one out uh, the fourth one I mean will show the total price of the whole card here yeah, 497 <laughs> all right and you have to, to put it in all right and the third uh, the fourth one is say total price okay that's all that's all for the bill for the controller we should have two one is a get one a post as usual um create the new uh, controller I think uh, you guys know already in this controller we need the album service and the shopping cart service is mean inside the model is mean I want to use the album model and a shopping cart model <coughs> excuse me um, inside a get excuse me just to remember that we need the uh, delete album ID to to take that album out the list this the, sh uh, the car uh, the album card list okay um as usual this uh, method will return a string and that string is the um the name of the view jsb view uh, request parameter of course we need the uh, delete album ID and that should be integer alright and somehow in this tutorial I use the um, serverless and uh, of course uh, we don't use the um, the sections sections but um, to put it oh yeah we get it 
um, no, we we don't use the the section, but it's still there. Somehow I don't know, but just please put it there. If I have it, put it, because you know I don't guarantee if you guys take it out, um, the system will allow you to continue, or it's not when it's built is show you guys um more error. Map model, okay. Um, for this part, I use to format the uh, decimal number here because um, somehow when we say the total price is um, double, it will show you. Sometimes show show us the uh, inf infinite number. But because we just work with the money, right? So it means we just uh, need two decimal after the point. So I want to format this number. I use this one to format my number. All right. Number format formatter, new decimal format, and this this part can straightforward alright um, I want um, a no album and a my card here new card empty card we don't use the uh, my card here but you know, still remember inside the uh, shopping cart right we say Model attribute is my car, so definitely, definitely we should have the um, my car. And the type of my car is uh, the car object. All right. Um, string total price. Uh, total price. So it means after I format my uh, total pr price of uh, the card. I put into uh, a string, and the name of that string is total price. All right. Um, over here, if and else, if delete album is not no, it mean um, delete album ID is not no. Over here. That's the reason why we say require is false. It means if we have it, it's okay. If we don't have it, it still works. Mm, if delete album is not no, what will we do? It means we have the delete album ID. It means when we click it over here, uh see the view mm. <laughs> here uh, if the user click on this link it will send back to the controller delete album id with the my album dot album id right here so it means we'll have delete album id if we click on here yeah delete album id is 74 see okay all right Go back to controller so it means if we have the uh, delete album id we'll do this we have to create new album object and that uh, the name of that album object is remove album and I go to the album models or file use the method file album by ID we have it already and put the delete album ID when we go, we get here, put it here. So it, it will find 
the album with this ID inside the dat database and put it in and put it to the remove uh, album ID. And one thing I called a method say delete that album and put remove album inside. And where is this delete album? Because okay because I want a list of the album user want to buy. So inside this shopping cart model I create a list of album inside cart. Alright, smart huh? Mm-hmm. Smart huh? So this list this list will store all the see inside the view. That list will right now is store all one, two, three. It used to four, but we remove one already. Right now it's just store three of the uh, album in the card. So album in card. See this is the list of uh, this is the list of the album. Of course the um so okay, so I comment this for you this uh, get all of albums in for or say this one is set or uh, um, um, in for alright okay so right now we work we work with uh, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I uh, call delete that album method, and I put this here. That is the method I use. What this method do? I will put here and go to the shopping cart model and I get I get the uh, album in the cart right and I remove this album out of the list right here it used to be uh, I have four album inside that list albums in the list remember and I will call this method and go to the model uh, shopping cart model and I get um, albums in cart is mean I get the whole list of the album and I remove this album from that list okay because um, I have died is mean I have to do this okay and model at attribute okay model at attribute remove information this one I prepare for this all right because um, we need in we need to show the user that what album they just removed from the card. So this one. Model at attribute remove album information and the home message is this. 
I get the title of that of the remove album and has been removed from your shopping cart. It's right here. All right, and say remove album info is short above the um, the table, right? Right here. Is above the table. Mm -hmm. All right. Go back to controller. If we don't have any delete album ID, what we do? It mean when it mean. Um, we don't want to create any, and it's the same meaning with when the uh, user go to the store, um, rush and click and add to the cart. Uh, because um. The, uh, because it generates the new one already. The system restart, um, re um, rebuild, so everything uh, is gone. You create a new card. So this mean, um, what is the store? Disco. Add to the card. Right here, we have two, right? And inside the uh, the URL, we don't have any delete album ID, right? So we create. So the first step is we have to create. And card ID, card ID and order ID is different, right? The card ID. Let's see. So we have to generate the uh, the card ID. And uh, inside the shopping cart model, so we have to go to the shopping cart. This one. Uh, let me see. Say delete car from okay. Uh, for this one, we generate card ID right, and we use the uh, random method next integer because. The uh, card ID is the um, integer. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Okay, you still have time. Um, so, okay, and um, card ID. It will say three, six, nine, nine number nine. So it will uh, take one random number, integer, integer number from zero to nine, 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 and it put into the current card number. All right, if current number is not um, is equal to zero. It means right now I create create a new 
member of the object is current card number and I and in initialize that number is zero. Alright. So it means when we don't have any current card number is zero. If it's zero we generate the new one. It means when the object create when we use it we, uh, when we say okay generate the new card ID right now if it's zero I don't want it we have to ge generate a new current card number and it's from zero to nine 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 get a random random number is put in here that's the old idea okay and um, add album ID okay um, this one will will relate to uh, different different controller it from the uh, shopping controller all right see over here did you see when we uh, when the user go to over here it add to cart we want to catch the album id all right so inside the controller and from details right Store controller, and we have to look at details. Post. Hmm. Detail get. Browse. Detail post here. Yeah. Okay. Depend the uh after the user click on that button uh, let's see details add to cart here right see and if you did you haven't changed it yet I, I believe you guys did but um, this is a form of that one model attribute and of course add album is the add album uh, method post post okay and I want to get detail album ID and this is the action link okay um, alright so you guys have to um, take out this the form all right close the form and store controller inside store controller you have to get okay request get a session and set attribute at album ID is album ID album ID right here this means I use this one to catch the album ID and put into the session remember in this one that's the reason why over here I use servlet Alright, request servlet. That's the reason why I use servlet over here. So, in this one, I want to get that album ID, right? So, I use request, get session, and get attribute, and I have to put the name exactly, exactly the name inside the store controller. 
at album ID. Okay, make sure, and we have to cast into integer. And after we have that ID already, we put at album ID, and and we we use for this controller. All right, and I create a new album over here, right? Is no. And after that, I use by album by ID. Okay, we we used it before, million times already, and we have the ID here, right? I want to find this I, this album. Okay, and I use the um. Of course, after we have the album, we should put and or we add that album into the this list album in cart all right so this one will use it get album and add over here we remove it out right remove it out over here we add this album in done 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 the last step is put information back to the view in the view what um what we have inside the view we need uh the list of the album inside the card right and the total price so before we before we put the total price out to the view we have to format it and as I told you before we we use this format to format our total price and in the shopping cart models I have a method called get total price get to Hey Price Of the old card Alright So this one is like very very simple I get the um, the album list inside. I get the whole all of info all of the card inside the uh, album in card, right? I go to or I use the uh, for each loop. Let me see. We still have them. Okay, I have wrap up. We have to use the for each loop and add add all of the the price over here it starts zero and I add all of the price up uh, inside up the albums inside the list and I add them together and return the price straightforward so uh, okay uh, for this one I get the dash one uh, the total price and I format it into two decimal after the dot So and I put it back to the controllers. Uh, I mean the view, and of course um, I have to call the uh, the album in card from the controller uh, from the models over here. I show you already, and put into album list. This means the list of the uh, all of the album inside the card. And this one is very important. If you miss this one, you, uh, you don't have because uh, you cannot uh, generate because in my card, uh, uh, although it's empty, for the post is uh, very um, straightforward. And 
all right we need the uh, delete album right to remove from the uh, the album list it should be the integer and my card um, model attribute is my card and model, uh, model map all right and model map get um, add attribute my card ID and shopping card model I will get the core the, the current uh, card number we have it already uh, is over here right I generate it and in the inside the uh, post I get it and user temp user well, I create the temp temporary user and uh, of course and use um, okay I use this one because I want okay. because I want to use this one after um, click on checkout it it go to um, the login page so that's the reason why I use this create a new user and add the user lock um, say um, the name of the temporary user login and return to login page I will show you how to create a login page later alright so straightforward everything is done and right now we have to uh, go go back to the uh, beginning of the tutorial and show uh, and and see how it work and I, I cannot show you because uh, the limit of the time of my um, software is uh, 60 minutes sorry about that and hey see you guys later huh hopefully you guys can follow me and uh, nothing happen no, no error happened to you guys see ya